Facebook Live with more on this. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Ricardo. Yeah, so far this offseason for Saints fans has left them only dreaming of what could have been had the Saints landed someone like Jimmy Graham or Indomitian Sue or Jordy Nelson in a black and gold jersey. But sometimes the smart decision isn't always the popular one. And despite their misses in free agency, Saints head coach Sean Payton and GM Mickey Loomis say they're not done. Sean Payton said on Tuesday that attending his first NFL owners meeting without Tom Benson was different. But just as they say he would have wanted, the Saints have been moving forward, especially starting on March 14th when free agency started. Especially the first week of, of the process, you know, the numbers can get high. You know, oftentimes the second, third, fourth week, even the next month here, you're able to find a player that fits uh, at a palatable price. And the Saints found plenty in the month of March, but it was announced on Monday that their chance at a cannonball free agency splash decided to take a dip somewhere else. And Peyton says all pro defensive tackle and Dominican Sue didn't just choose Los Angeles for the cachet. I think it's cash. Because I think we have cachet. All right. But I think it's cash. Sue chose the Los Angeles Rams over New Orleans and Tennessee, agreeing to a one year deal worth $14 million. The Saints didn't carry as much cap space as the teams making a run at Sioux, so much of what they sold him was a chance at another Super Bowl run. Look, he's been to one playoff game, in his, uh, maybe two in his entire career, so you, you, push the, you push the opportunity to win. Ultimately, it comes down to, though, there's a price point. Peyton went on to say that the same could be said of New Orleans swing and a miss at a reunion with tight end Jimmy Graham. The positive is the Saints don't need an overhaul of talent. They just need to build upon what they already have in the building. And they plan to continue that process through the upcoming NFL draft, where last year the Saints hit the jackpot. I do think this is a, a team that sees themselves being successful. It's a, it's a young, highly motivated team, and that's exciting. The problem is in free agency. So many of those big names have already been scooped up, but hopefully what they can't get in free agency on the open market, they'll be able to address in the upcoming NFL draft. Here in Orlando, Andrew Doak, Eyewitness Sports. All right, Andrew, thank you very much. Hey, the